Hey everybody, welcome back to When Harry Met Board Games. Today we continue my campaign through Marvel Legendary. Last time I faced off against Magneto and the Legacy Virus and I was defeated for the first time in my campaign. So I'm going back at it against Magneto and against the same scheme as last time, the Legacy Virus. As per my rules, every time I am met with defeat, I will eliminate a hero, a character that I used for that game, and I'll never be able to play in the campaign with that hero again. And I will be eliminating Storm from the game. I It was a tough choice to make, but it was between her and two of my other favorite X-Men who I played with last time. So I will be playing again with Cyclops, and I will be playing again with Wolverine. However, my third hero will be different based on the Legacy Virus and the fact that I'm dependent on tech heroes in order to fend off these wounds that would make me lose the game. I'm going to be adding Deadpool. So Deadpool here is going to come to the aid of the X-Men. And as you could see here, Deadpool does indeed have a tech card. As a matter of fact, there are five copies of this card uh, in his pool of cards. So hopefully I'll be able to acquire a few of those and be able to hold back the Legacy Virus Long enough to defeat Magneto here. So we're going to shuffle up the cards and get everything ready for play. Okay, we are all shuffled up and ready to play. I will start by populating the headquarters with five heroes. Good way to start. We already have the tech card here from Deadpool, which is here. Hold this for a second. So that is an excellent start. We have some more Deadpool, a Cyclops card, a Wolverine and yet another Deadpool card. Okay, so we're going to draw our starting hand of six cards. There's a Shield Trooper, an agent, another agent, a third agent, a fourth agent. Let's hope for a fifth one. Oh, the worst hand you could ever get in Marvel Legendary. Four recruit, two attack. All right, so let's start off by revealing and playing the top card of the villain deck. And it is Sabretooth of the Brotherhood here. Okay, so... As you see here, he has a fight effect. Each player reveals an X-Men hero or gains a wound. So luckily for us, this is a X-Men heavy game. Uh, so we want to hold back. We don't want to fight this guy until we have X-Men acquired, which right now we wouldn't be able to defeat him anyways because he's worth five and I've only got two attack here. But we do have four recruit and I'm immediately, without wasting any time, I'm going to get this here Hold this for a second Deadpool card. I want to get it into my deck as early as possible. Put it in my discard pile so that hopefully it comes out when those scheme twists come out. All right. So we're immediately going to replace this with another card, a Wolverine Healing Factor. And we are done with the first turn. I will draw a new hand of six cards. And it's going to be identical to the first one. It's going to be four recruit and two attack, which I hate. We're going to reveal and play the top card of the villain deck, and it's a Blob card. And Blob is similar to um, Sabretooth, except he's a little bit cheaper, and you don't even have the option of defeating him unless you have an X-Men hero. He won't give you a wound, but you can't even fight him. Okay, so, can't do nothing with the attack, but I do have four recruit. Looking over here, and you know what? I'm going to get these Keen Senses Wolverine card. It costs two. Let's replace it with a card, okay? So I still have two recruit, nothing here that I can afford in the headquarters. However, I can recruit a sidekick and I will. And I've got Zabu here, Kazar's sidekick here. And this is great because hopefully it comes out with this keen senses here and it can trigger this uh, special ability here. Okay, that's it for my turn, I am done. I will have to discard these cards, draw a new hand, my uh, Deck is empty, so I will have to shuffle. Okay, now that I'm done shuffling, I will draw a new hand of six cards. All right, I already got my here, hold this for a second uh, card out there. So hopefully a twist comes out right now while I have it. Let's reveal and play the top card. And it is a scheme twist. So again, according to the conditions of the current scheme, the legacy virus, each player must reveal a tech hero or gain a wound. And luckily for me, I do have a tech hero here. Okay, so that is excellent. Let's see what else I can do. Again, I have a turn that's going to be pretty much a dud as far as attack is concerned. I just have these two. That's not going to be useful at all. But 
Instead, I'm going to use Deadpool along with these three uh, shield agents to give me five recruit. And with those five recruit, I think I'm going to get this Deadpool card here, Oddball, which says you get plus one attack for each other hero with an odd numbered uh, cost that you played this turn. So that's really good. Um, all of Deadpool's cards in the base game are odd. So that in, in and of itself, they'll piggyback off each other. So yeah, I will use the five here to uh, acquire or recruit Oddball. And I'll replace it immediately with another five value card, Frenzied Slashing. And there is nothing else I can do. So I'm simply going to discard my current hand. And now I'm going to move on to the next turn, draw a new hand of six cards. There's a Shield Trooper. Here is Zabu. And there we have a Shield Agent, another Shield Agent, uh, another Shield Agent, and yet another one. Okay, so we are going to reveal and play the top card of the Villain deck. And it is yet another Scheme Twist. And this time I do not have a Tech Hero to reveal and prevent that. So I will have to draw a wound, but luckily for me, at least I prevented the first one. And I did draw this Grievous Wound here, the Subdermal Tracker. It tells me that to heal, you may play a card from the Villain deck. And if you do, you KO this wound. So you advance evil a little bit, but you're rewarded by healing that wound. So that's something to consider. All right, let's see what I want to do in my turn. I can use Zabu here to KO a card from my hand or discard pile. So I will do that. I'll look into my discard pile and I will KO this wound immediately before it does any damage and clogs up my deck. And when I play Zabu, I must place him on the bottom of the sidekick stack when I'm done. And now I'm looking at this one attack. Again, nothing I could do with it. I have four recruit. Let's see what we have here. Hmm, you know, I might just go with this card right here. This, uh, hey, can I get a do-over Deadpool card? Um, if this is the first hero you played this turn, you could discard the rest of your hand and draw four cards. So this is a good way if he's the only good card you drew on that same turn. You could discard the rest of your cards and hope to draw better cards. So yeah, I will recruit this guy. And I am done. I will replace this immediately. Discard the rest of my cards here. And I will move on to the next turn. I'll draw a new hand of six cards. There's a shield trooper, another shield trooper, and a shield agent. I am empty, so I will have to shuffle up again. And now that we're done shuffling, we'll continue drawing up to six cards here. I've got my hey uh, here. Hold this for a second. Deadpool card, another shield agent. And yet another shield agent. All right, so we will reveal and play the top card of the villain deck. And it is Mystique. I wish it would have been a twist because, again, I have my tech hero available. So remember with Mystique, if she escapes, she becomes a scheme twist that takes effect immediately. So we want to prevent that as much as possible. And yet again, I have a terrible attack turn. Haven't been able to do nothing on that front. The city is slowly starting to fill up. But... I do have two, three, four, and five. A villain of my choice captures a bystander. I forgot to do that last time. Um, so I'm just going to simply give uh, dead uh, Sabertooth here a villain. And I'm going to choose to give the Blob here a villain as well. I'll place them face down underneath them. And now I've got two villains that have bystanders. So that's dangerous because... Whenever villains escape with bystanders, there's additional consequences as opposed to when they escape all by themselves. So I have to find a way of defeating those guys before they escape. But I do have five recruit once again. And I'm going to use those five recruit to recruit this frenzied slashing Wolverine card, which will combo well with my other yellow class heroes. I will place this here in my discard pile. I will replace it immediately with an unending energy Cyclops card. And that is all I will do with my turn. I will discard these here and draw back up to a hand of six cards. So there is three, four, five, and six. I have some good cards here, finally. Let's see what I can do with them. We will reveal and play the top card of the villain deck. 
And it is Juggernaut. And these villains here will slide over across through the city. And Juggernaut here does have an ambush effect. Each player kills two heroes from their discard pile. So luckily for me, I do have two weak starter cards here, the shield agents. I will simply put them in the KO pile over here. And now all of a sudden my deck is a little bit stronger. So that actually works in the favor of the players, the heroes. So let's see what I can do with my turn. I've got one, two, and three recruits. And I will use those three recruit in order to get this healing factor card. It gives me two attack and it gives me the ability of healing wounds. And that's very helpful for this particular scheme where wounds will be dished out. So I will put that in my discard pile, replace it immediately. And now let's see what else I could do. So I have this Deadpool card. If I mentioned earlier, if this is the first hero you played, you may discard the rest of your hand. I chose not to play him first. So I was satisfied with what I had because I would have had to get rid of this really good card as well. So I'll play him. He gives me two attack. I'll play this oddball card. I get plus one, two plus one for each other hero with an odd number. So that's an odd number cost. So this is going to be three in total, which makes it five. Plus this shield trooper here brings me up to six attack. And I can defeat Juggernaut here. However, I'm looking at these two villains who are closer to escape and who are ca carrying bystanders and instead i'm going to choose oh no i cannot if i fight Sabretooth right now i need to reveal an x-men hero or gain a wound and i have uh deadpool here who base game deadpool doesn't even have a team he belongs to much less the x-men so that's not looking good i do not want to take that wound because again that's the losing condition for the legacy virus scheme so instead i'm going to defeat blob over here i'm overspending a little bit i have six attack he costs four. Ugh. You know what? No, I don't want to do that. Even though I could rescue a bystander that may or may not be helpful, I'm going to choose to get a uh, Juggernaut because I do not know when's the next turn that I'm going to be able to summon up uh, six attacks. So I will defeat Juggernaut here. There is no fight effect. He'll go into my newly created victory pile. And I am done with my turn. So I will discard these cards. I will draw a new hand of six. There's a shield agent, a shield trooper, an agent, a Wolverine card, and now my deck is empty, so I will have to shuffle up again. Okay, now that I'm done shuffling, I will draw and continue until I have six cards. There we go. Okay, so now I will reveal and play the top card of the villain deck, and it is the Savage Lamb Mutates. Okay, they're pretty vulnerable, only three to attack. They have a very interesting fight effect. They allow me to draw a seventh card for the upcoming turn. So that's really good. Okay. So let's see what else we're going to do here. Um, I do have... I do have this card here that allows me to KO a card from a wound from my hand or discard pile. I do not have any wounds. But it will allow me to trigger this Keen Senses ability, which allows me to draw a card. Got another Shield Trooper. So that adds to the attack. That makes it 4 attack and 5 attack. And then I have this oddball card, which brings me up to seven attack plus one for each other odd number card. And I played one other odd number card. So that's one more. So that gives me exactly eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attack. And the city is getting pretty full here. I could defeat two uh, villains here, clear up the city a bit, or I can go for magneto this is a bit of a conundrum here you know what i am going to defeat two because i do have at least one x-men i can defeat saber tooth here without any casualties so i will defeat him that takes me five to defeat i will rescue the bystander he had captured which just just a regular bystander and i still have three attack remaining which i will use to defeat the savage lamb mutates here which again allow me to draw a seventh card for my following turn so that's pretty good i cleared up the space in the city took care of a bystander now the next time i have a powerful hand i'll be ready to face magneto without feeling so concerned i had one recruit here but there's nothing i can do with that so we are done i will discard these cards here and i will draw a new hand of six so let's see here this is not looking too good so far but i'm ready for a scheme twist if it comes out okay 
Oh, remember, I just defeated the Savage Land Mutates, so I will draw a seventh card. Really good. Okay, so now we will reveal and play the top card of the villain deck, and it is a Scheme Twist, the third one to come out, and luckily for me, all I have to do is reveal a Tech Hero, which I have this Deadpool. Here, hold this for a second card, so I am good. All right, so I could choose to play this card first if I weren't satisfied with my hand, but I really am. So instead, I will play this card. A villain of my choice will capture a bystander. And since I already have Blob here with one, I'd rather spread the love a little bit and give a bystander to uh, Mystique over here. And now I have two recruit with this shield agent. That brings it up to three. This brings it up to four. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what else I can do here. If I play this here... It will allow me to trigger the Frenzied Slashing here, which allows me to draw two more cards. And that allows me to draw another Shield Agent and yet another one. So that brings my Recruit up from four to six. And there are some interesting cards to be had. So yes, I will get this Cyclops Unending Energy card. All right. And I will place that in my discard pile. And I will replace it immediately. As far as attack goes, I have two attack, four attack. This shield trooper brings me up to five. And this other shield trooper brings me up to six. So I have six attack. And I could defeat either one of these. Because I do have X-Men heroes. But Mystique is more of a threat. She's a little bit more costly. And also remember, if she escapes... She becomes a Scheme Twist that takes effect immediately. So I will defeat Mystique, put her here in my uh, Victory Pile, and I will rescue the Bystander she had captured. And again, it's just a regular old Bystander. And that's it. I am done with my turn. I will discard these cards here. I have no deck, so I have to draw back to six. Done shuffling, I will draw up to six cards for my current hand here. And let's see here. It's looking pretty good. Pretty good. All right. We will reveal and play the top card of the villain deck. And it is another Savage Land Mutates. They'll enter here in the sewer space. And let's see what we want to do here with our turn. We've got this Frenzy Slashing, but nothing to combo it with. As far as Recruit goes, I only have two Recruit. I could get this... Uh, determination cyclops card it's pretty good recruit i don't have much as far as recruit goes so this might be worth my while i will recruit him and replace him immediately with this wolverine ultimate card it's the berserker rage really good card that com combos very well with all the other wolverine cards um <clears throat> so i'm going to see what i have i have one five attack with this uh, unending energy card this gives me seven and that gives me eight which is exactly enough i'll be able to defeat magneto for the first time let's reveal the top tactic here and we've got crushing shock wave the fight effect says each other player reveals an x-men hero or gains two wounds i'm playing solo so that has no impact on me okay so we are done we defeated magneto for the first time we will discard these cards and we will draw back up to six cards here all right and we are going to reveal and play the top card of the villain deck here and it is saber tooth so saber tooth is going to come in to the city here and again i have the choice of playing this deadpool card first if i weren't satisfied with my hand but i actually quite like it so instead i'm going to play this healing factor here Followed up by the, uh, hey, can I get a do-over Deadpool card. Followed up by the Oddball, which gives me plus one attack for each odd-numbered cost card. And both of these are odd-numbered. So that's two, that's four, that's six, plus seven and eight. Eight attack, which gives me exactly enough to be able to fight Magneto yet again. So let's see here. We've got Xavier's Nemesis for each of your X-Men heroes. You get to rescue a bystander. I only have one X-Men hero, so I'll only be able to rescue one bystander. And I've rescued the undercover agent. It tells me here, when you rescue this bystander, a player of your choice 
gains a shield officer. So I'm playing solo, so that player will obviously be me. All right, I got this Melinda May shield officer, which is great because not only does she let you draw a card if you trigger her ability here, but she's a yellow class hero, which will be very helpful for comboing with some of Wolverine's other cards here. So we are done with that. I still do have these three shield agents that give me three recruit. I'm looking here in the lineup, and you know what? I'll get this Optic Blast Cyclops card, and I'll put that in my discard pile, replace it immediately. We are done with my turn. I'll discard my hand, and I will draw a new hand of six cards. Here we go. That's four, five. My deck is empty. I'll have to shuffle up and draw again. I am done shuffling, and I will draw one more card to complete my hand of six. And we will reveal and play the top card of the villain deck. And it is a Scheme Twist. Scheme Twist number four has come out. And again, it has been perfect timing. Three out of the four twists that have come out, I've had this card in hand. So I prevented three potential wounds. And I feel pretty comfortable, pretty safe with not losing to this particular twist. So now I'm going to carry out my turn here. And I've got this Deadpool card. I had to make a villain of my choice, capture a bystander, and I'll make it the Savage Land Mutates, since they're always pretty easy to defeat. So here we go. And now I've got two recruit plus a shield agent here, which gives me three recruit. So I'm looking at the headquarters, and right here we've got the Healing Factor card. Hasn't been useful from a uh, taking care of wounds perspective, because I haven't dealt with many wounds, but it still gives me two attack and combos well with some other Wolverine cards. So I will recruit it. We'll replace it immediately. And now I've got this Keen Senses for one attack, two attack, three attack, and four attack. And I will use that four attack to defeat the Savage Land Mutates here. So I'll place this in my victory pile. I'll rescue the bystander it had captured, which again is just a regular bystander. However, I will be able to draw seven cards on my upcoming turn. So let's see here. Let's draw seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This is an excellent hand. I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's reveal and play the top card of the deck. And it's the Master Strike. And Magneto's Master Strike tells us that each player must reveal an X-Men hero or discard down to four cards. Luckily for me, I have a few X-Men hero heroes in my hand, so I am safe from Magneto's Master Strike. Okay, so let's see what we want to do here. I am going to use this card right here, this Determination Cyclops card. I have to discard a card from my hand in order to play it. So I will discard this shield agent, place in my discard pile. And now I get the three recruit that this determination card provides for me. I'm also going to add this shield agent here to build it and bring it up to four recruit. Actually, I am not going to play this shield agent because I'm going to want to save him to use for this optic blast card because this optic blast, pretty much like the determination card, in order to play it, I have to discard a card. So I will discard this shield agent card here. And now I could play this Optic Blast card. Okay, so I will play this. Hey, can I get a do-over Deadpool card? He was not my first card, so I do not have to discard anything else. I will play my Frenzied Slashing, which is triggered by this Deadpool card. It allows me to draw two more cards. I get another Shield Agent and a Shield Trooper. So I will add this Shield Agent to my pool here. It gives me four recruit, which I'm looking, and I think I'm going to use two to get these Keen Senses Wolverine card added to my discard pile, replace it immediately. I still have two recruit left, which I will use to recruit a sidekick. And here I got Red Wing, Falcon sidekick. And again, he's a yellow class sidekick, so that's going to be very useful for triggering Wolverine's abilities. Okay, so now... I've got three, five, seven attack, plus this shield trooper makes it eight, plus this oddball card 
makes it 10 plus 1 for each other hero with an odd numbered cost. So that's 11. That's 12. That's 13. So I have enough to not only be able to defeat Magneto one more time, but also be able to take care of one of the villains here. So I'm going to defeat uh, Sabretooth here because he's a little bit more expensive. 5 plus 8 is exactly 13, which is what I have. 3, 5, 7, uh, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I will defeat Sabretooth here because I have uh, X-Men. I will not acquire any wounds. I'll place him in my victory pile here. And I'll be able to defeat Magneto for a third time. And let's see what tactic we reveal here. We've got the Bitter Captor. And the fight effect says, recruit an X-Men hero from the headquarters for free. So I'll place this here in my victory pile. And I am going to recruit this Wolverine Berserker Rage card. This is an amazing card, especially if you combo it with other Wolverine cards. The only thing is I might not have the time to actually use it because I might actually win this game before this, got, this card ever comes out. So I will replace that card immediately and I am done with my turn. So we'll move on to the next turn. It's looking good, folks. Very close to redeeming myself for the last defeat. I will draw a new hand of six cards. All right. Perhaps I spoke too soon. Okay. And my deck is empty. Cards. Hopefully my Berserker Rage card may come out. All right. I am done shuffling. One more card left to draw. And now we will reveal and play the top card of the villain deck. And it is a Scheme Twist. And this time I am caught with no tech hero. So I will have to draw a wound. Luckily for me, it's only the second one of the game. And it is a Grievous Wound. It's a Blunt Force Trauma. And in order to heal this card, I need to spend 5 attack to do so. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do here with my turn. I'm going to play these two cards, followed up by the Shield Trooper, in order to play Melinda May and trigger her ability here, because I played 3 Shield characters prior to her. I'll be able to draw a card. And we've got this Wolverine Keen Senses card, which I will play. And because I played a previous yellow class hero, I'll be able to draw yet another card. Okay. And let's see here. Uh, this might just be it. Oh, wait. Nope. I've got the healing factor here, Wolverine card. I could KO a wound, the one I just finished acquiring. And if I KO a wound, I am granted the ability to draw yet another card. And I've got the Red Wing sidekick card here. It tells me, that I get to look at the top three cards of my deck. I get to draw one and put the rest back in any order. And remember, when you play sidekicks, once you're done with them, you have to place them at the bottom of the sidekick stack. So I get to look at the top three cards of my deck here. And I get to draw one of them. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, this is a no-brainer. I'll keep my Berserker Rage card. I'll get to use it. I get to put these back in any order. And I will play my Berserker Rage. And what does this allow me to do? First of all, it allows me to draw three cards. So that's one, that's two, and that's three. Second of all, if I play a yellow class hero, which I've played multiple this turn, I get plus one attack for each extra card you've drawn this turn. So let's see. I've drawn three just with him. This one allowed me to draw a card. This one allowed me to draw a card, and this one allowed me to draw a card. So that's one, two, three, plus three is six. So this card alone is worth six attack. As you can see, this card could get very, very powerful. So now I am going to play this one. I have no wounds to KO. By the way, any subsequent cards that would be drawn would not retroactively be added to this card at that point. But I have, any, I have no more wounds to KO. But I do have this unending energy. And this gives me a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 12, 16 attack, which would be more than enough to defeat Magneto here for the fourth and final time. We've got the electromagnetic bubble tactic here. Fight effect says, choose one of your X-Men heroes, and when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, you add that hero to your hand as a seventh card. But that's not going to be necessary because 
We are done with the game. I've defeated Magneto. And I am back on the win column as far as this campaign goes. I suffered a humiliating defeat last time. As a result, we lost Storm. But we were able to recruit the uh, wild card here, Deadpool. And he was able to help us uh, defeat Magneto here and the Legacy Virus. And that's it for today's game, folks. Uh, next time, I will continue this campaign. I'll be playing against Dr. Doom as the mastermind with a new scheme. Thank you so much for joining us here when Harry met board games. This is Harry saying take care, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have fun gaming. Bye-bye.